Hello, it's Araya. Welcome everybody back. Um, doing our Monday thing and uh, today talking about surrender and vulnerability. Um, I found myself coming off of a big trip <clears throat> and a lot of shift and a lot of turmoil inside trying to get into my new place and <clears throat> knowing that I've been called to um, be in service, be helping people shift uh, on their journeys. Um, finding myself in a place with a new healing space for the first time um, rather than working out of my home. Uh, going into a lot of fear, a lot of um, emotional procrastination actually. And so having a chance to really look at that this morning, deciding that that's really what needed to be talked about and shared because I came into my new office space um, for my first full day of really setting the energy in here, clearing and holding space for all the energy that I have the capacity to hold to come in and, and be in this place. And it's already sort of here from just um, putting this space together. But I found myself in this real place of emotional turmoil uh, and just on the verge of tears. And I thought, gosh, am I going to go into this right now? Um, am I going to, you know, just let all it just come? I've got a Facebook Live to do later. I don't want to have all my makeup messed up and whatever. And, and when it was done and I went through this big uh, cheery release and found all this fear, all this stuff that was just so afraid to dive fully in, to be fully what um, God and my angels were showing me to be in my life and my work. And um, the term, the word vulnerability just kept coming up. Just be totally vulnerable all the time in every moment. Hey, Isabel, good to see you. Thanks for that little confirmation. Um, so yeah, I had to go through a big process this morning. I had a huge emotional release and then I felt my angels and guides and guardians around me um, doing a healing and clearing on me and what I realized is part of all this stuff, um, and I had a little intuitive hit about it last night, when we are here to share light and bring more light to the world and um, help shift, help transform, um, help others, you know, move out of their shadow, shift and and move forward. There is um, a lot of energies in the world that don't want that. They don't want the powerhouses that are out there to be able to shine their light and be really bright. And so, a lot of times, circles of spirits can come around and cling to us and cause um, fear, cause procrastination, cause doubt, cause. Um, feelings of insecurity cause feelings of oh, I don't want to do this I'm not really gonna go there it's not gonna be successful getting all the negatives in place in our mind and our heart and um, man once I just let go this morning in this clear space and had my angels around me I realized like I don't have any of those feelings like I had this huge bubble of um, negative spirits around me and <coughs> they were you know, creating all the, all this big negative bubble around me, but also um, creating all the fear within me. So I thought, you know, I'm just going to go through this and uh, whatever I look like for my Facebook Live, I'm going to just go with it and let people see who I truly am. Here I am with uh, all my makeup gone because I had a big teary session this morning. Hi, Chloe. Nice to see you. And, um, you know, where do I go from there? Here I am. I'm surrendered. I'm surrendered to my process. I'm surrendered to my path. And how do we get there? Um, knowing that I need to follow my intuition. I'm, like I said in my little description there, I've been a type A personality most of my life. I got to follow a plan. I got to have all it laid out. My, my to-do lists all over my house. Like, man, if I don't get them done that day, I feel totally like crunched with, <sighs> I've got so much to get done. And and I go into overwhelm and it's not healthy for me, it's not useful, it doesn't really lead me down any great primrose path of accomplishment other than knowing that I got all my to-dos done at some point. And um, what Spirit is really honing in on my heart in the last two months especially is how to let go of the to-dos, how to let go and just surrender to this moment, what needs to happen right now. and. Um, as far as timelines, if something doesn't happen this week, it'll happen next week. Yes, you want to keep moving forward, you want to keep taking steps, but you want to be taking those intuitive steps, the ones that are really guided. And <coughs> for me, I've realized that the key to that is, first of all, grounding, getting my grounding cord all the way down to the earth, feeling my energy flow really in my body, 
and there's more steps that can be taught and shared with that in a one-on-one -on -one basis but um, then clearing you know just as that grounding cord is there bringing light in and just going through and feeling all the stuff drop away stuff that isn't mine getting really clear and then allowing that intuitive voice to speak to me and when I get silent and can hear internally then I know the next step is right and it may be one thing it may be three things to do that day um, and I work on the next one that feels right and that's how everything just flows uh, more naturally f more intuitively more um, in line with what your soul is really here to do and to accomplish there's nothing in the world I mean this time is only in the 3d world so if we realize that as greater beings we are outside of this 3d realm creating all of this without time and the bigger plan of our lives and what we're supposed to do and where we're supposed to go and um, you know where we're headed as far as our gifts to bring to the world when we're creating up here then we filter it down into the 3d reality and we have so much help with that um, from our angels and guides and them lining up things so that they are in the 3d time reality and so <coughs> For me, just surrendering to that process right now, um, my guidance today said, you know what, talk about vulnerability, talk about surrender, talk about how you hear that internal voice, and I know I've mentioned some of it before in some of my previous lives, but um, today my angels and guides want me to talk about who I am and what I do, and um, I've been doing energy work since about 2003. Some new aspects have come in in the last year, adding reflexology to that, so there's a physical bridge with the emotional energy body work. But um, I do one-on-one -on -one sessions with people. I do them remotely or in person. And um, because I'm a psychic medium, a lot gets channeled. A lot of information from your guides and guardians can come through to help see the blocks. Where, where are you being kept from a surrender? What is keeping you from... Um, the greatest wishes in your life happening, shifts happening, changes that you want to see. Um, so besides one-on-one -on -one just individual sessions, I also offer long-term programs that really help shift. So one is called the WISH program, when shift happens, and that's a 12-week program of one-on-one -on -one work um, bi-weekly. I also offer that same dynamic but with a group, because some people really like the dynamic of a group. Um, almost exponential boost to the energy flow and the energy breakthroughs that can happen. So um, I do offer all of those things and uh, anyone who's interested in more information about that can private message me. Uh, we can set up a call to discover and chat um, if we're a good fit to work together and um, get you more information about any of those programs. But um, what I have found in all of my work is that it's almost like I have soul contracts to work with people um, and they find me uh, through the strangest channels um, not necessarily even word of mouth just something happens and all of a sudden our paths cross and they say do you do healing work of some kind because I'm feeling directed to ask you that and, and then I say yes I do oddly enough uh, or they say do you work with entities ever and I say yes I do <laughs> and, um, <coughs> Anyway, so knowing that um, there are people out there who are going to be hearing this, seeing this, uh, finally feeling my energy maybe face to face, we might be working already in the spirit realms together in your sleep time. Um, but knowing to trust your intuition and your guidance, if, if you're feeling like we're a good fit and you want more information from me, please feel free to message me because um, I am I'm definitely here in service. I'm here to um, help people shift forward. That's what I do. I'm a harbinger of change. and tend to really initiate um, the ball rolling forward for people and so I am here on my Monday loving Mondays and, and moving forward with the week um, I hope that you have a wonderful day and um, can find your own vulnerability and surrender in the next moment that you feel turmoil uh, emotionally just let it flow let it move and then tune into what it's really about um, I will see you next time thanks bye